thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in 2018, the White House eliminated the cybersecurity coordinator position on the National Security Council. Mr. Hickey, the National Security Council is responsible for facilitating the implementation of administration policy and coordinating national security related activities across the interagency. Is that correct? That's my understanding, ma'am. So would it be fair to describe the National Security Council as a rudder that steers the U.S. interagency? I don't know if they would like that analogy, uh, but they certainly, <laughs> I, they certainly I, play a, 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 <laughs> a critical coordinating role. Can, they have convening authority, and, and we meet with them frequently for that reason. Given the attitude of this administration, I'm not, I, I agree. They probably wouldn't like that description, but practically applied, that's what they do, correct? They play in a critical coordinating function across the interagency, yes. Thank you. D Director Krebs, how has the absence of a cybersecurity coordinator at the National Security Council affected the Department's ability to coordinate its election security activities strategically and effectively across the, the interagency? Well, there is a PCC process uh, established under NSPM for that uh, <clears throat> with specific election security coordination. So we do work closely with the NSC, but it's also important to, to uh, consider the fact that under the operational authorities that I have, that DOJ, that FBI, that the IC, the DOD has, uh, we, are we are coordinating on a daily basis on operations. And then those inform the actual field activities. So I would not mistake uh, the lack of a coordinator for lack of coordination. It happens because it's our job. Mr. Krebs, um, the last time we spoke was on May 1st when you testified before the Appropriations Subcommittee on Homeland Security. And at that hearing, you raised serious concerns about Russian operatives attempting to influence our 2020 elections. I asked you then if the President had received a briefing from you or anyone in your department on potential Russian interference in our elections in 2020, and you said he had not received a briefing. Administration officials have offered plenty of sound bites suggesting the President is taking this issue seriously. So today I'd like, you, I'd like to ask you again, it's May 22nd, three weeks later, has the President received a briefing from you or anyone in your department about threats of foreign influence in the 2020 election? Yeah. Ma'am, I'm going to take your word for it that I said it that way. Um, you did. I, I, okay. I, uh, I, I'm not privy to this uh, President's daily brief. Um, there, he's received I'm a range if, of intelligence. I'm asking if he's had a briefing by you from, or, anyone in, me, your no depart or anyone no in your department about threats. I mean, you're responsible for election security about I, threats. The, the DNI, ma'am, is responsible for working with the President on intelligence matters. I am responsible on helping state and locals protect their systems. When I asked you at that meeting, you said, to your knowledge, you did you that you said that the president did not have a briefing on the threats potentially facing us in the 2020 election? Is that still true? Certainly for me, yes, ma'am. Certainly for me. Okay, uh, Director Krebs. During a House Homeland Security Subcommittee hearing on April 30th, you described President Trump as quote the head coach for the administration's cybersecurity strategy. I play team sports, so my question is, if your head coach doubts the threat of foreign interference, how does your team prepare uh, your defense, our defense, against our adversaries? Ma'am, as I discussed in that hearing, as I've discussed with you in the appropriations uh, hearing, uh, the President supports the conclusions of the Intelligence Community Assessment of January 2017. He said that on the record uh, several times. So I have the guidance, I have the steerage I need uh, from the coach. We are going, we are executing, we are working closely with the Department of Justice, we are working closely with the FBI, we work closely with the intelligence community, and the Department of Defense. I have the guidance, I have the direction, I have the strategy I need to be effective to support Chairwoman McCormick and her constituents in the state and local election community. Okay, well, President Trump has repeatedly uh, publicly expressed doubt about Russian foreign interference in our elections. So how can we expect you and your colleagues here to tackle these threats if you don't have full buy-in from the White House all the way to the top? Ma'am, again, he uh, supports the intelligence community assessment 2017. I take him at his word. I have what I need. Reclaiming to go be my time, I take him at his word because his words <laughs> and deeds have demonstrated that he doesn't think that there was Russian interference. He's said that out loud, and his actions 
particularly as it relates to not taking it seriously enough to even bother to have an election security briefing in advance of the 2020 elections is, is, is mind-blowing. Ma'am, and again, I'm not privy to every briefing, every meeting he right. gets. I know. I'm just we going by your to answer be, to my question when I asked you, and I want to thank my colleagues who've raised rightful concerns today about the lack of transparency regarding the hacking of two counties in particular in Florida. We received a briefing from the FBI along with the rest of our Florida delegation members, and while I can't share the two counties that were hacked, I, I believe that investigators should not be withholding that information from the real victims here, the voters in those counties. The lack of transparency from top to bottom in this administration is stunning, and it diminishes voters' confidence in our election system, makes voting less likely, which unfortunately, I think, demonstrably is shown that is, in, is this administration's true interest. Thank you. I yield back. The gentlelady yields back.